Hello everybody, I'm doing a flip through of the Moonology Oracle cards. It's my very first deck ever. It's the reason I got into Tarot and Oracle cards. All the pick a cards I was watching on YouTube, they were using this deck and I fell in love with the cards. They're so beautiful and there's so many messages in each one, just from the title, from the picture, and then the guidebook has so many it's a wonderful deck and a great, easy, accessible deck to start with, especially if you're familiar with Moon Phases at all. Um, and even if you're not, you learn a lot using this deck. So at, at the end of this video, I'm going to have a three card pick a card. That's what these crystals are for. If you're looking at them through the flip through and you're drawn to one, that's probably gonna be your card at the end of the video. I'm gonna have a timestamp. You can jump right through. In the meantime, I've been using this for a while, so this is not a new deck. I put them in order just for the flip through. So the Moonology Oracle Cards Guidebook, I believe her name is pronounced Yasmin Bland, uh, artwork by Nix Rowan. Uh, they did a really fantastic job. It seems like a small book, but it's pretty thick, honestly, and it just has so much information. It's two pages for each card, complete with a small black and white photo of the card itself so you know that you've got the right one easily just by flipping through and of course in the contents you can look up the page really fast nice and easy and this is what the back of the deck looks like you're going to want it this way if you're trying to shuffle upright there is no reversal at least nothing official uh, for these cards, but it is nice to know you want the dark side on the right if you want it upright. So, you have the very first card, of course, is the new moon. A new start is coming. I'm going to flip these over because they're going back in my box when I'm done. And you have waxing crescent moon, have faith in your dreams which is honestly just such a stunning card. I love all of them, but there are a few that are just very special. First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. Gibbous moon, you're very close to achieving your goal. That's another favorite of mine because of the trees. Hey, I can pick it up. Full moon, surrender to the divine. Which, by the way, these are nice, thick cards. The coating on them, they do have a tendency to stick together a little bit. And you'll notice because it'll be extra thick when you pull them, but um, they do tend to stick a little bit. Like, they're not sticky, but they cling to each other a bit. Disseminating Moon. Take time to breathe out. Third quarter Moon. Adjustments are required. Balsamic Moon, a time for healing. And like I said, these are, they come in order of the phases, so it is great for learning about the phases if you're not familiar. Then you start with the New Moon cards. So it's New Moon and Aries. It's time to take action. New Moon and Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. New Moon in Gemini, communication is key. New Moon in Cancer, you and your loved ones are safe. New Moon in Leo, there you go. confidence is your key to success. New Moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. New moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Scorpio, work through your fears. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> new moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. 
New moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. New moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. New moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. And the full moon star, uh, card start. Full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Cancer, a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. Full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Capricorn, the end of a type, tough cycle approaches. I can talk. Let me say that again. Full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. Full moon in Pisces, balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah, I can say that, but not tough. New moon eclipse, expect powerful change. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Waning moon. What do you need to release? The void of course moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. Fixed moon, hold your vision. Mutable moon, nothing is yet set in stone. Super moon, emotions are running high. Blue moon, believe in the impossible. The South Node, don't let your past hold you back. And the North Node, step out of your comfort zone. So like I said, these are absolutely gorgeous cards. I love them so much. They were my first ever cards. They're always a generally positive experience when you use them. Uh, pretty gentle. There are uh, some parts in the guidebook that will give you things that maybe you should consider, maybe even going about things the wrong way, but on the whole, they're just very positive and gentle, even when they're nudging you in a different direction. Um, and also, they're great to use if you're just looking for, um, say, you know, the new moon in Aries is coming up and you want to know what to expect. You can pull out the card, look at what it says on the title, or open up the guidebook and just use that you know read up on whichever phase you're looking for information on it's a great way to prepare if you know what's coming up in the you know moon cycle um, even if you're not using it for regular divination or guidance so uh, up next is the pick a card there are three cards to choose from the first card has an emerald up above it. The second card 
has tangerine quartz, and the third card has praseolite. So if you take a moment, think about it, think of a question, just ask the universe for any message, however you want to do it. Single card, I'm going to flip it over and give you a brief look at the description in the guidebook. So you ready? Card one with the emerald. Let's have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. In the guidebook page. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Don't give up. The situation you are asking about is still taking shape. You're nowhere near the end of the story. Whatever is happening now is a step along the way. Attuned to the moon is I am focused on what I want. Additional meanings are just because you can't see your dreams. It doesn't mean they're not manifesting. Don't look back. Stay focused on moving forwards. Be patient as events unfold. Dig a little deeper to find more courage. Card two, with the tangerine quartz, be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. So the guidebook pages. Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. Attuned to the moon, I am taking charge of my destiny. Additional meanings for this card, be bold and follow your heart and your emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Come into your power, the time for action is now. Ask Ganesha, the Hindu elephant god, for help. And card three with the praseolite. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. <laughs> I'm seeing a bit of a theme here. The guidebook pages. Hopefully that's all focused. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. Attuned to the moon, I know I'm headed in the right direction. Additional meanings, the situation is full of potential. Your dream can come true. More effort is yet required, are you willing to give it? Review your goals and ensure you're still committed. Keep moving forward. And if you didn't pick a card, perhaps the entire spread is for you, because these are all strongly related, I think. I hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, click like if you liked it. Um, tell your friends. Buy the deck. It's a great deck. I love this one. My first one ever. Bye.